President uh, Biden says his Build Back Better plan will cost zero dollars. We've been discussing this for some time. This man on the screen right now, his name is Larry Kudlow, if you didn't know it already. I want him to do the math for us. This costs zero dollars with all this spending. Break it down, please. Yeah, it's a tough thing to uh, prove. <laughs> well, you might even call it a falsehood, all right? I don't want I to do. go out of line it's here. Fraud. Look, here's here's <laughs> here's what we know. The budget committee, the House Budget Committee markup, which was done Saturday, Stu, came to spending side 4.3 trillion, okay? Now, that is not gimmick free because there's stuff that's going to be extended to 10 years, not three or five years. So probably $5 trillion plus. But I can just say formally, when you look at the, uh, uh, the sheets that they publish, $4.3 trillion. Now, here's where the problem comes in, problem. There's only, only $2 trillion in taxes. That's from the Ways and Means Committee, and that's from the Joint Tax Committee uh, scoring, the price out. Now, I don't want any of this stuff. Don't get me wrong. Save America, kill the bill. Kill all of it. This is totally unnecessary and will do great damage to the economy and the country. But I'm just saying, using these metrics that Congress uses, you've got $4.3 trillion in spending and you've got $2 trillion in taxing. So obviously it's going to cost a lot. If we get any of these tax increases, any of them, do we get pushed into recession or stagflation? Well, look, good, good estimates, dynamic estimates of the tax penalties on the economy. And by the way, these entitlements, I mean, you've got, I don't know, a trillion dollars plus of entitlements, not to speak of the Green New Deal. You know, there's no work requirements in there, Stu. Um, there's no education requirements. So I'm just saying you've got incentives not to work and you've got tax penalties on companies that create jobs and higher wages. So I use the Tax Foundation. Uh, I look at the Penn Wharton model, University of Pennsylvania Wharton School uh, economic models, and they're both pretty much in agreement. At least a, a 1% of GDP will be lost as a result of these spending and tax hikes. Um, probably a similar number, about 1% of wages will be lost. Wages will come down. Um, job estimates vary. Uh, I've seen the Tax Foundation, a 300,000-person uh, job loss. Um, some models have it worse. In other words, nothing good comes out of this. It's just a pity. It's almost a tragedy. You've still got the remnants of the Trump tax cut deregulation energy independence economy. You've got the remnants, although they want to chip away, Lord knows, and stop the energy. But still, you're still growing here. You throw this, this can be a wet blanket over the mm -hmm. entire economy. And another point I'll make, you know, you asked about inflation, of course. Look, the spending and the deficits put pressure on the Fed to monetize the debt. Uh, Joe Lavornia told me the other day on, on our show that the Fed has bought, get this, 57% of the new marketable treasuries issued um, in the past, I don't know, 16 or 17 or 18 months. In other words, the Fed's buying more than half of the debt. Now, that creates excess money, yeah. which in turn creates uh, higher inflation, you know, on top of the pandemic supply shortages. So these are ongoing problems. This is a, this is a bone crusher. Yeah, add it all up, Larry. It's a stream of bad news, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm with you. I don't want any of it. Larry Kudlow, we will watch you. I don't want any of it. Uh, save, no, none of it, none of it, none of save it. Save America. Yeah. <laughs> save Kill America. the bill, save America. Okay, I like that one. I'll use that as a banner. Kudlow, weekdays, 4 p.m. Eastern. We'll be watching, Larry, and thanks for being with us this morning.